Good morning, or good evening, Turtle Club, depending on how you want to look at it. My name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming and Convertible Turtle, more importantly, CTG Studios. And we are here to play some more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Hopefully, going into the Revenant Remastered system. And this game's, I gotta admit, this game's pretty good. I, uh. And the intro music is just. Just really active. We last left off out in the middle of nowhere, making our way downtown to the new location, which should be the port town. We made it here to kind of start seeing what was going on, and we had a uh, we had evidence that there was a thief. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start looking at the Oh, we got some people we can get some hearts from, too, so we're, we're all about that. We're all about that. So, first off, we're going to kind of have to do some exploration. Let's, let's stop off here. Hey, how can you help? Uh, we're going to drop off any extra familiars we have. We have Shrippy and Toasty that we can drop off. Go the ad. I, I love it. And uh, who's to say what we're going to find out as far as all of these other familiars go? I mean, this thing is massive with the number of familiars it has. Did you see the thief? No, but you know what we can do here is we can... 50 yielders. Boy, they think highly of themselves. See, this thing here in the in this game, all these lost pages for the Wizard's Compendium, this stuff's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. It, it's really nice. Save for progress? Sure. Welcome to Castaway Cove. We're just gonna be here for three hours. That's a three-hour tour. Three-hour tour. Up oh, some milk chocolate. Definitely got some familiars that would be happy with some milk chocolate. Alright, so. Alright, so we're looking for any kind of dots that glow, because usually that's where we need to be at, right? Oh, we can't, we can't jump worth jumping at all either. Oh, hello. We go up. So, some kindness. We're off to a good start already. We're going to take a little bit of kindness. Boom. Get that nice little piece there of that generosity. There's the thief, right? Oh no, this is somebody just walking. Okay. Alright, what, what do we need? Rainbow leaves. Florets. Okay. Alright, so yeah. yeah okay, it's, it's not that bad. Frostbite. Uh, okay. Ah, interesting. So we need to, basically, we need to take out some florets with. Alright. That is definitely a unique kind of way to do some things. It makes me wonder, too, if they've got the code in the back end to where you knock people out with certain things, you get certain items, and maybe there's certain things that we could have been getting all along. Man, JRPGs are just so 
beefy when it comes to certain things. Oh, here we go. Let's, uh, can we spring it? Let's go ahead and get our magical crowbar. Oh, fish burger. All right. Courage just oozing from them. So we got us a dose of courage. Got us a, a dose of kindness. What we really need though is somebody that's enthusiastic. So we can go take care of the spice guy. And we are out of easily foreseeable hearts all right so that's unfortunate what about you oh interesting i don't think we've ever seen like a Some courage. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take this task. And we're gonna give courage. Boom. Two fish burgers and some gilders, nice. And let's see what our sandwich card says now. Boom, boom, all right, we got four more and we'll get another free sandwich. Okay, so it looks like the thief we are chasing is right up here. this piece of rubbish if you want it it's yours ah! 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 I'm sure it will make you very happy see ya he might have been going after something that was inside I wonder if we're about to add a thief to our party. A peculiar pot. Oh, I'd like to think that we're gonna be able to cook with this once things get going. Oh, is there, we can't, we can't even get on the boat? I can't even jump now. Oh, and I can jump again. Can I jump here? Yeah, I just, that is, that is so frustrating about plot locked stuff like this. Okay, that's her clothing designer up there. Anything else? Uh, the Adventurer Guild Hall. We'll be able to get to after a bit. So, 
there's this big mysterious thing that's sealed in... Okay. Huh. Well, no, we get so a cauldron. All right, well, because it's sealed up with powerful magic, true wizard. All right. Ha. Huh. Let's go ahead and see if we can open it. I mean, because we can, we can definitely do that. Um, Chemical cauldrons. All right, so we have to go to our compendium, and so alchemy. All right, interesting. So this is the crafting system. Nifty, but what I really need is spring lock, right? No, okay. Okay, rip my life here. Um, alchemy. Right. Ah. Magic words open says a me. Oh, game is so awesome. All right. That is some old school. Like DRM kind of copyright stuff too. Like if you didn't have access to all that, huh? Hmm. Well, this is not good. Hmm. <laughs> His name is Alchemy. You are very small, master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Well. Where is it? Ah! Aha! Now, who arms? Well, sneaky little hidden boss fight out of nowhere. Spells, frostbite. Oh, well now, someone just got the big, huge, epic, nice. Uh, except for the fact that Alcat's um.
Oh. Well now. Alright, so... Yeah. Keep frostbite. No, 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 no. Ollie, 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 Ollie. Get away, get away. Um, you. Ow. Oh, laugh. I think you're close enough for it. Oh my gosh. Alright, Sid. Sid. Sid, you're the man. You're the man. Alright, Sid. All the hits. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. Back to Oliver. Divisions. Uh. Sandwich. Esther, eat a sandwich. Alakazam again. Alakazam! Alright. Alright. And point blank bubble bath. Get some, get some help, get some help, get some help. Keeping on. Let's see what we get out. I, I, I know this is happening like every 25% of health, from what I can tell. So it's very MMO based on the combat. Oh, got the parasol again. Alright. Chance again. It's not like a GD ballerina. It is it is something bigger at. Um, to be honest. We got a cauldron to start doing alchemy with, and we managed to open it with a magic word. Um, open was the magic word with a sesame, as in says hyphen a hyphen me. And then this genie popped out, and you can see his name is Al Kemi. This is this is the uh, the fight to unlock alchemy apparently. All right, all right. You've given us no option. Here comes the corgi laser. Uh oh, here he goes, Alakazam. What's he pulling off this time? Oh, it's the sword again. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Hubble bubble. This does not sound good. Um, um, psych out. Go wild? Oh no. Oh no. Corgi. Corgi. Al combo. Alright. We, we dodged it there, so it's not bad. Oh, we are out of mana. That's what's going on. Alright. Mighty. Time, time for you to do your thing, buddy. Go do your stabby thing. Go do your tanky stabby thing. Oh, uh, Hubble Bubble. Defend, defend. He's gonna blow. Yes. There he goes again. Defend. No, I, I, I messed that up. Oh my gosh. Def evade. We should we should be able to dodge it this time. All right, mighty. All right. All right. Hubble bubble back down in the pot. That's fine. Cube back over to this. Two, 
one evade. Should be able to dodge the whole thing. Do we have enough mana to? Oh, we gotta, we gotta, just, we gotta, we gotta survive all this. All right, bubble bath. Time for you to bathe. Bathe in the living waters of Mandalore. Oh uh, no. All right, you provisions. Eat a fish burger. Alright, Alkazam. Can't you attack while he's counting down? You can? I don't know if it does more though because he's in the pot. Or less. But hey, we're back to parasol mode. We can take on parasol mode for a little bit. Oh, chance encounter also. Oh my gosh. I don't have the mana to do anything on it though. Uh, mighty. Go attack him. Take those parasol hits. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Knocked him out. We won! We, we won, but... Hey, she leveled up, so she'll be fully healed now. Wake up, Esther. Oh. War cry. Yay! We got Helitosis from Winky. Alright, I gotta see what Helitosis does. What's Helitosis? Oh. Alchemy, Jenny of the Pot. This is some interesting stuff. I like the way, hey, Shadow! I like the way the alchemy system in this is working. I've done nothing except have to fight a genie in an alchemy cauldron, and it's still better than a lot of other games. You obtain a cauldron. Woot! Please accept these humble gifts. We're doing good, Shadow. Thanks for asking, man. Bottled Pixie Brew. So there's a fire breath with a not family. Halitosis. <laughs> you obtain a bunch of sour grapes. You obtain three bundles of slumber knot leaves. Produce the most wonderful magical result. Okay. There are two ways to alchemize. Possess alchemical formula. You simply just formula, boom. Or you can mix and match, combine ingredients to your heart's content. Oh no, it's like it's like Breath of the Wild cooking. Do not run before you can walk. Well, that seems that seems fair. Obtained a new alchemical formula. Master, you must use the formula I gave you. Follow the formula. Sprite do. 200 hit points to all allies. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is funny. Alright. Truly work a wonder. The colors. Okay, okay. Well, now. So now we just need to get us a boat and we're fine. Um, but before we do that, there's the missing thing. Follow the formula. So. Now. Hold the phone, though. I have a wizard's book that has plenty of other formulas in it. Right? Warning the main... Oh, gosh. That is the, the truth. Instant double-A brackets are just not going good this time. A shadow glass knife, a flint dagger, and a piece of shadow glass. A sainted sword. We don't have the stop for that though. So let's let's uh let's look here. Champion sword. Uh, okay, nothing for that. I don't even recognize what those are. Shadow glass knife sounds pretty cool though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Royal scepter. That takes jade marbles. 
Hammer of Justice, Champion Spirit, Rainbow Lance. Look at all these cool things that we can't make. Three gnome beards. Uh, we're gonna have to go pull on some 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 beard hairs. Looks like. Tainted claws, crucible claws, six wind claws, knuckle bone claws, steel claws, ice queen claws. Wow. Okay. Interesting. There's so much cool. Oh, oh, parasol. We can make the parasol. A lot of good it does, but... Oh, we can actually make metals. Soldier sword and brass bell. Or, I'm sure that's a brass bell, but it's just bass bell. Maybe it's a bell-shaped fish, I don't know. Some scales. Some snowdrop ribbons. Oh! That seems like it might be not that difficult to make. We can actually start cooking food now. That's gonna be so oh, oh, sun drops. Three sun crystals and a sun drop to make a jumbo sun drop. Okay, so now we get to where we can make the the drops. All right. So that's all it. That's all it for uh, for for alchemy. But that's kind of that's kind of good to know. We can't, we can't do anything with it right now, but where does that stop us in the past? I'm sure it hasn't, right? Hello, little person. Here we are. So she's looking for a wizard. Okay. So, huh. Should we all out? Candle cutter, perhaps. Um, okay. Flint dagger and an ember stone. So we need to get. Well, we already knew we needed some flint daggers because other things required flint daggers. Um, hello, person. Swift solutions. Do we have any bounties to claim? We can. Boom. Boom. All we need is one more and we get a free sandwich. Fire seal. I don't know what the fire seal is good for. Five merit stamps plus another as a bonus. Alright. Um... So, claim it rewards. We have one stamp card. So, we can either get this or nothing else. So, I guess we're going to get the uh, little Jack Horner Merit. Alright. Any bounty hunts going on? Yep. We're going to take all the bounties. Alright. We have completed, we have done all we can then. Errand board. What's on the errand board? New. Uh yeah, we are we already were those. Okay, so trade bodies for subs. <laughs> A little bit like that, Digrat. Um not quite. So does this guy actually sell anything, or is he just like all smiles and here's your... Please pursue my words. Alright, here we go. Ah! <sighs> Alright, so... Pig Iron Pike, Iron Axe, a Rock Feather. Wow! And it's got some element to it. A Sickle, Bullhorn Claws. A Rubber Robe. Okay. Iron shield. Oh, look. At the bottom, it says it's, if it's an ingredient for something or not that we know of. That's cool. Oh, so that's what the fire seal was. Okay. Increases attack when hit points are full. Oh, that's 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 quite the metal. 
All right. And here is just straight up alchemy ingredients. A dumb flounder. Oh, and glow shrimp. Okay. So, well now. Well now, a bite like that? So you bring the bounties in hot, not cold. <laughs> well, it just depends. It just depends. The, the, you know, we defeat them. We take things from them. We don't always actually have to have to take necessarily all of it, right? Um, but it, it definitely does help. It's not like we can put them in carbonite. I wish. It'd make life a lot easier. Show up like Din Djarin and just get all the cool Mandalorian perks. Seaside Paradise of the South, because they're all in swimsuits. Well, we are not dressed correctly. Uh, what? Huh. So we have to wear a bathing suit. Okay, once had... What? 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 What What kind of problem do you have if nobody in... if everybody in the town's not wearing a bathing suit? Huh. So... people would got angry and so... You would wear bathing suits to make people not angry? Uh, all right, that makes sense. Right, that makes sense. So, so if, uh, ha, huh. neat. So, it still breaks my brain a little bit. Put on a bathing suit, and all of a sudden, you, uh, you can't hide weapons. So now we just have to find a bathing suit. Great Wolf of Bathing Suits prepared for visitors. Come follow me to my home. Oh, okay. So this is basically flot to bring us. Check me out, Dolly Boy. I look the business in this little number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <this> marvelous. <laughs> Drippy in a bathing suit's hilarious. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Hmm? Oh my gosh. So, at least I'm not in that giant cape anymore, but... Huh. I wonder if it changes if we go back to the other towns. But, like, Drippy in the 1950s bathing suit attire is just... Oh. Just... Oh. Oh my gosh. You obtained bathing suit. Just... Oh, that's just way too funny. And they forced us to have the bathing suit before we got to the boat over here for the the end of our, our, our spree here. Uh, you there, with the star over the head. It's, a, it's like the biggest boat that's here, so I, I, I don't know if I'd quite call it beautiful, but it's like the only boat here, too, that we could really plan to sail across the ocean on. The legendary sea cow. We get a lot of promise of cows here, and we still haven't seen one. A vast girl. All right, who do you think you are? The young man super hard. He says, I'm likely to bear with me. His name, he's the only one. Oh my gosh. Lord High Lord of the Fairies. And I'm Esther. Two ships, a fleet even. Nope, nope. So you show me a letter of passage from the beloved Khalifa. Alright, so we gotta go back to Khalifa. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, all right. We get to see the Khalifa. Finally. Finally. Okay. We can hop, we can skip, we can jump. Because we paid for it. It's, it's the only game that I've seen so far that has a Blood Elf tax. If you want to jump like a Blood Elf everywhere, you have to buy it with merit points. Back to some really cool overland world music. Do, 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 do. All right, so first and foremost, we know we picked up some bounties in the bounty board. So let's check if any of these bounties are in this world here. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, that is rather unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, uh, uh. I guess, I'm trying to think of what we really need to be doing other than going to the next plot point. And, oh, the purloiner again, okay. Um, I think we go mighty. Oh, we don't have any mana. Let's go after his health. Oh, we must have leveled, we just leveled up. It's the only one. Oh, they could have healed us, I guess. No, we just leveled up. That'll work. Oh, and then the Psycho Corgi got leveled up again. We need to start buying some of these alchemy base things from stores too so we can get some of these cool things. A hog goblin and a monolith. No, the monolith takes a bit to chew through. Like there's something else. A wombat instead of a wombat, and it really looks like a bat. Let's just see. How how aggressive we get with these things? Oh, we get pretty aggressive with them. Nice. Now we're gonna need plenty of guilders. To start buying some of the stuff that we want. Alright. Um, there we go. We scared that pig. Hello, what about you? What about you? We'll run into this kit head on. A purloiner and a wambat again. There goes Winky. Get him, Winky. Get him. Evil embrace. That doesn't sound good at all. Wow, that's like the kind of move that they break out when you're fighting like a boss or something, and it's like this is the first time you've ever seen this move. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know, we need to take a look at the cage real quick. Any of these people able to evolve? Nope. And he hasn't been grown either. Wow. Okay, so let's back out for a second. Go to this because we had some uh, we had some abilities that we're looking at, right? Uh, Warcry. What's Warcry do? Boosting its own attack. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I guess we can use Warcry instead of Rolly Poly. Alright, Sid, you got anything cool? Not yet. You're working on it. Level 28 and you're level 19? Oh, Sid. You got a ways to go. Alright, Psycho Puppy. Level 38. And you're 13. Okay. Well, you know. Alright, here we go. Halitosis. Uh, Rolly. And. Well, now. That's worth it. AoE poison, just by breathing on people. Healthy glow, so nothing new there. And what about you, Lamal? Alright. And actually, we can use a quick save while we're at it. Alright, so... Huh. I wonder if going up through this desertous area is worth it. I mean, it's really out of the way. Things that are usually really out of the way are worth something, right? Oh, here's a guy in a turban. Drone, Bumbler, a Shonky Honker, and a Turburn. Turburns are new. Alright. Let's see what we can get in the hot off, alright. Do some crits. See if we gotta get this Turburn out first. Come on, come on. Ah. Alright. Okay. So, Drone Bumbler. We might be able to take out before it. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Get the Ollie. Provisions. Um. Burger. Spells? Frostbite. Alright, so it's just me and the Chonky now. Body Blast, which hurt. Spells. Do Pulse. Alright. Frostbite. Alright, so up here is pretty dangerous then. Yeah, it's worth 100 gold though, that's not bad. Alright, uh, Esther, you need a sandwich. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's some material to gather in a Shonky. Let's go fight the Shonky and see what happens. Oh, it ran away. It ran away. Nope. We're gonna we're gonna catch this Shonky honker. Oh! Come on! Wow! It's a whole it's a whole party of toot toots. All right. We should, we should focus fire down the Chonkies. Then we should now cut loose again. Alright. Oh, the body blast is just really hurt. This, this. Cut loose. Bubble bath. Oh, we got rid of the other one. We did it. Pretty 
pretty good experience for this range still. In the hundred, man, I like the hundred gold per fight. I don't like the fact that it's. Oh, shadow glass though. Oh my goodness. Okay. So on the one hand, they're dangerously close to breaking our spine every time we fight them. But on the other hand, we're getting some pretty good materials having taken them out, so... Man, them shockies get after you. They can run. Well, it looks like this is just a, a better place to level up. So, because it doesn't look like we have a way down. So it's not an alternate path of some sort. Now, I didn't see anything specific other than the Shadow Glass. The Shadow Glass is nice, I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're going to immediately start with Sid. And we're going to go over here and bubble bath all of these guys. And hopefully, that'll get us some places. Oh. Alright, Sid, 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 Sid. What if we didn't? What if we didn't? Alright. <laughs> Alright, get over here. Pull me out. Spells. Healing touch. We've won! Ruffian leveled up again. Sandwich iced coffee. Hey. I will not turn down some iced coffee. Okay, that's one of those bee things. And that thing be really vicious. That looks like some sort of owl that we have no business fighting, so we'll just avoid it. As if it were going to really probably kill us. Wow. That looks like some sort of dangerous dinosaur. We can leave it all the way as alone to you. Sneak past the celery here. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll just we'll take our beats and go away. Ooh. Here we go. Something else to harvest. A whetstone. All right. I'm sure that's going to be used for all manner of things. Oh, here we go. Here's some bacon. Rhino snore. Watch this. Mm. War cry. That's great. All you did was basically. Oh, um, Esther. Uh, boom, boom. Serenade. Come home with us, Rhino. Bum, bum, 
Look! It's a lemur! It's trying its best to get to us. Also looks like a level 2 lemur, so we can let it be. Did we scare the bonehead? We did. Gonna go over here and crack some skulls. Oh, nice. Yes, give it your all, Esther. Ah. Serenade it. We shall now make it our bard. Boom! Yes, you're not Scully. You're Brooks. Brooks the Bonehead. I really am kind of curious in what what the Bonehead looks like. Watch your skills. Ray of Light. Sabotage, eh? Um, whoa. What? Uh, bricks. And... Every... What? What? There we go. Sabotage. Alright, Ray of Light. Interesting. All right, cool. We'll put sabotage on there. Look at its little thing. It's evil looking on its little pet icon. Evil embrace, dark cloud, spite. Wambat's pretty cool. Um, yes. All right, evil embrace. Random element. All right, that's that's annoying. And what does the Rhino Snore get? Belly Buster Enlighten. Huh. Eat. Yes, you giant cyclone walking banana bunch, you should be afraid. Back to Alma Moon. I think the wombat was cute. Yeah, the wombat was definitely cute. So, where do we need to go? Khalifa, you have the palace, that's fine. I don't want to get cut. Oh, oh. Hmm? Look who it is. Yikes. So we. Hmm. sorts of confused and my, my you know granted my usual way of operating in this game is confusement but that goes even more than wow okay all right so first things first hello we're here to buy stuff 
exactly. Hashtag facts on that. That's, um... Excuse me, before they fly out the door? Alright, we're looking for a foot dagger. We just want to buy one. No, we're not going to put that. Alright, we're going to... So, we need to go one to our book, to alchemy, to our weapons, to the shadow glass knife. So, one flint dagger and one piece of shadow glass. Alright. So, one flint dagger. And then one piece of shadow glass. And then mix. Yes! Make this thing that we have the recipe for. Shadow glass knife. Alright, so what's a shadow glass knife get us? 10, 10, and 5 versus 4, 4, and 2? Yes, we are very happy with that. Okay. Um, who can equip a shadow glass knife? These are important facts also. None of our people. Alright, we need helmets. We need spears. And we need claws. Every time you say Khalifa here, black and yellow, black and yellow with Khalifa. <laughs> uh, so we need, we need spears and claws. Alright, so let's go to this book and see what we have in the, in the world of spears and claws. Alright, spears and claws, sword, 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 spears, alright, what can we get here? Uh, nothing there, okay. Um, okay, soldier spear, iron diamond, and the bass bells. Rainbow Lance. I don't know what that is. No, 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 bubble pipes. Yeah. Nothing there. Alright. So, claws. So, crude claws and a sturdy shin bone. Okay. So, cold stones, lumps of raw steel for crucible claws. Those sound good. Uh, so let's see if we have uh, a set of haunted claws. So crucible claws is what we're really going to be looking for at this point. I think. I don't think there's anything else we can get really. Oh wait. Bone mail. Sturdy shin bones. Okay, this is armor already. Alright, that's weird. So it starts there. So ice cream claws. We can have ice crystal claws. Alright, so we're looking at right here. We're looking for cold stones and lumps of raw steel. So... So we do have an ember stone. Alright, do you sell anything like that? No, you don't. So, we probably need to go provisioning type person. Alright, so that's gonna be up and over right before the one dude. Alright. Like, you can't be going out and saying, here you go, Mag. These are, these are things that you can start, like, making in the game and not give me something cool to do with it. Alchemy stuff. Um, well, I, I, I guess what I want and what you guys are going to do are two different things. So, yeah. Huh. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's just, it's just, it's rude to do it. Had a little bit of joy, and then they just took it away. Alright, so... That's the spice person. So there is another person over here that we can talk to, though from like a quest standpoint. I guess we'll have to 
like, start... Oh, this guy's wanting his journal found. We haven't found his journals. That's... That's like, oh, I guess we just don't do that now. Hi, we need to talk to the Khalifa. None shall pass. The Khalifa unannounced. Banana Merchant's daughter, are you not? Oh, there's only one thing I know about viziers in the world, and they are not good people according to everything that Disney has told us. Okay. Her mood just needs miraculous hunger dictates that she dying even during her sleeping hours. Wonder what her food is. Well. So what is the special food, though? Go to your world and find her soulmate. All right. Never seen her before. Interesting. I'm going to bet the Khalifa is a cow. We're gonna go to the artist, because the artist probably knew. Alright. Boy, that's that's Alright, that That's very railroady, but that's okay. You know, while we're at it though, let's go in this um so if I go to follow the formula, do I have anything? I made it, and I don't have it for a formula. Wow. How does this thing even... How does this thing even... Alright, alchemy. Uh, let's go here. So... White bread, dumb flounder, crispy lettuce. Alright. Sprite dew. Strong coffee. So we can take iced coffee and make it into strong coffee. Alright. Uh ha. Huh. Fog drop, summer not leaves. Okay, so nothing really we can make in here at the moment either. Oh, we were gonna look for like shields and stuff, right? Leather shield. Sturdy skill and angola? I don't know what angola is. Shadow Blast Shield, Iron Shield, Jade Marble, well, that's another word that we don't recognize. Wait. Does the Parasol count as a shield? That's funny. That's very funny. Huh. Well, nothing more we can do there at the moment. We do have this really cool Shadow Glass knife, though, that we can do, like, nothing with. So at least there's that, I guess? Hello there. Still need to find out where we get some enthusiasm. Well... Who wants to bet that that guy skulking around is a thief and he'll join our party and give us like a still option? That'll be good. That's a good old RPG trope. Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of cat's cradle establishments. 
Oh my, I, I must apologize. Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it really the finished? Oh, oh, oh. It's completed at last. Oh, how I belong to see it. Now, please, oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist? This too? is, this yes, is. Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved Kaulifa. Well, here we go. So the person he thought I looked like was the Kaulifa. That's fancy. It's not every day oh. you get compared to royalty. This now is going to go sideways. Oh, 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 that's the shopkeeper, I think. <laughs> uh, it's like dealing with a devil. The artist's name is Khan. I can't even with this game, Turtle Club. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 All right. Oh, that's funny. Wait, it's a cow queen, but this lady with long sleeves is a cat. Yes, all all the all the ends are are cat people. Uh, all the codder masters are the raven people. Salted ice cream. Can we can we spring the trap on this one? We can. Spring block, open up, strong coffee. We will take strong coffee. You there. You. Con the artist. I. I, I just. Alright. Let's, let's, let's get way out of here. <laughs> because. I still can't. Oh. But yeah, so like. The first town had a cat royalty, but the cat quarter or the the cotter master was the raven. Um, then there's the uh, the general stores. They're always owls. Is there anything else here? Nope. I was hoping we get some enthusiasm or something else. All right. Layla's no part. They could have at least tried like con the artist. Yeah, see that could have. Uh oh. What? This is not good. Is this how paradox explosions happen? Oh, 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 she can't see you nor me neither, oh, okay, oh no, if wait, but but all these the all these the exception, okay. She started running. She's exercising so she can eat more. Okay. The exercise outfit looks way out of time. I, 
I. Oh. Miss Layla, what is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot, a of, lot cheese. of cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Oh no, she's been. She's. Quick, Ollie, no. Man. She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some. Sharpish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla. Could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but not Please. that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no. tiny I said no. No. Mine. I, I think we're about to have, have about to have a boss oh, battle. Oh, you have it. It's, it's a mine. Mine, oh. I tell you. All oh, mine. Oh. Huh. Oh, there's P. All right. Just try, just try. Uh, so it was like totally rational reaction to people stealing your cheese. I, I wouldn't disagree with that. Um, she was right here. Didn't see anyone. We do the fountains of milk. I I'm beginning to have concerns about this cheese eating cow. That, that that's like a sliver of rationality. Fight Club vibes here. I... So, one of the things in this game is that everyone has like a soulmate that's got their foot in the other world. I'm beginning to think that Oliver, my main character's soulmate, is P. And I don't like that idea to a point. Fountains of Cheese. There's this person just standing. Oh, is this the ghost kid? Alright. Here we go. Spirit medium. All milk and boy there. Al Moon. Spicy spell. It's strange. Ha. Huh. Wow. So, yeah, Shadar destroyed it, maybe. Here's, here's another one. I mean, some lady can't see Blondie, but Blondie can't see P. Tell her make making bets for that. <laughs> they do make several bets for things like that. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, let's start with the stand up. Here's one of my favorites The Cowardly Prince and the Lion. Okay, you tell a wonder. Uh, nope. Okay, time to read the book. And by that, I mean, man. Alright, let's see here. Tells a wonder. Um, and you're not going to tell me which tell it was. Alright. Okay, here we go. And... So, tomorrow... Tomorrow spirit... Tires come... Station trying to flee like I'm mouth. Thou must needs become king instead. Ha! 
that's kind of silly, but interesting. So, time to solve the riddle. Can you remember them all? A third smallest out of the Prince of Lion. I don't remember nothing about no dragon. That was the second story. Lion. Dragon out of the east. West. Draw poison. Okay. So, this fountain. So we have to conjure cheese, milk, add lemon salt, skim, alright. So, what spell? Oh, uh, where is it? It's, um, well, hold up, secret ingredient. sweets and stuff too. Alright. Take a giant cheese wedge. <laughs> so, would have been nice if we had gotten any... Alright. So now we get to see the Khalifa. I hope Digret's watching and ready. Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of Shadar, the stinking rock bag. Oh. What is the divine aroma? She's got cowbells for earrings. Your Majesty. Bountiful Khalifa. These humble servants come here in most delicious tribute. Heavens, what that a is a child. Bring it to us now. There's a good boy. Please. Huh? You want me to take it to her? Quick, Careful, Holly. She might back. eat you. Bring it to us. Hurry! She's chewing, so that's that's a plus, I guess. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us more! Uh, uh, that uh, is. If you continue to eat this is yeah. This is, is a little lost pudding. A bull. Yes. We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. Bovinity. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop, of, drop restraint. of restraint. Restraint? 
That's mm, right. Okay. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of mm. you, Ollie boy. You have been paying Where attention after all. Some restraint? Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Her provine majesty. We have to remember she is she Provenity, that's just alright. Trying to find someone but this big old town shopkeepers out. Oh. Game mechanic called fat shaming. That's uh That's definitely what it's seeming like. In my payment? Don't worry, I'll get your word. Alright, huh. Just a figure of speech. This guy is definitely sketchy. So, we need to go to all the shops to try to find stuff. Okay. Except for we don't go to this shop? Oh, wait. Oh, we do go to this shop, even though it doesn't have a star on it. Okay. Hello, Miss Alperson. How are you? Bananas with milk and yogurt. Called her a cow, put her in bed, said she just needs some restraint. Sounds like some post you. That's. Yeah, that's. That is a little bit of a. Kind of a tone deaf message. I guess. Unfortunately, when we're playing games that are on the. They, they're a remake, right? That they're a remake of a 10 year old game. We're gonna find some weird stuff like that, I guess. Some stuff that's antiquated. To say the very least. Okay. I always find it weird that the shopkeeper for the the adventuring guild has got that bird hat. Like I know there must be something relevant there, but but not. It's going to go all the way back to the end at this point. I, I feel like that's the only way we can go with it. Okay. Able of cause. Oh, wow. She wouldn't be content until she had tasted all the cheese in the world. Uh huh. Wing in a prayer. Oh. Okay, so, so we need to. Well, but we, we were, what? But, we just came from there. We just came from there. Okay, I, I have to go talk to the cat lady though, because, you know, it's a cat lady. She's got a little quest marker on her. It'd be very, it'd be very wrong for us not to, right? What, what quest dialogue do you have for us, cat person? Standing there. Uh, maybe not. Oh, we definitely need to heal though and get our mana back. Personally, I think the cat, the, the cow queen, I think she showed restraint. She didn't eat us. She just has a favorite snack. Hmm. 
What do we have in there? That's some gilders. Okay. That little boy running. I swear he's gonna wind up on an escalator. <laughs> this is not untrue, Dick Rat. With the way this is a Japanese RPG, it is possible. It is very possible that we could wind up doing like a science adventure in the body of the Khalifa for a dungeon. Be like when we got swallowed by Jub Jub in Legend of Zelda. I just want to take a moment to just admire, like, the, the graphics department for this game. I mean, it's Studio Ghibli, so I, I, I get it, right? Come on. It's glowing like a couple trees. Can we borrow some? For a mood, there's nothing. You just, you just... <laughs> oh. Lie back and think of Alma Moon. That is... That's the difference between an E for everyone and an everyone 10 plus game, I guess. The power to resist the demon of temptation. Alright, your majesty. Uh, we're going to give you some restraint. We still need to find some enthusiasm. That... <sighs> hmm. So we made cheese, which is a minor tutorial for using the food spell, maybe? Well, with the way the story's gone, Ted, uh, her legs could have atrophied at this point. At the very least, they might be asleep, you know? Goodness! We feel quite marvelous! Whatever can have happened to us? So is her voice I wonder? Whole again. Hmm. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy <laughs> the finer things in life, of course. She's just no longer a Monterey Jack. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can. And we are simply itching to return to our ladies. Munificent Cal Queen Lola. servants not be rewarded for their the services to Huh. Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes. yes, Your Majesty. If it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? She doesn't even know she's got a boat. A little floaty <laughs> wooty. Yes, of course. This cow is addled. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. Wow. Wandless magic. That's some scary stuff. You will? Gee, thank you, your majesty. Well, it could be magic rings, though. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our bloaty wealthy? Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. It seems this is way too tidy. Thank you, your majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Of all the things to totally voice act, this is kind of well, odd. Uh... Go 
one man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Yes, we are aware of them. Abu, we know. Indeed, most learned Khalifa, but little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Hmm. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? Unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. Huh. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by oh. Shadar. Pardon me, Jacob. Mom. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable uh, and warlike mm -hmm. realm. So, we got some wars. Ego Trip, welcome. Uh, but <laughs> is a to the Turtle Club. Young thing. We Abu. So we can see a picture of the sage, maybe? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? Is that the thief that's chasing us? Just not as... That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. That's lucky. The portrait. It looks like a photograph, and we are not in a world of photographs here. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you Ooh, some magic. More spells. You on your journey. More spells are really? always great. You're a wizard too, Your Majesty. <laughs> well, <laughs> she not dabbles, a fully apparently. fledged wizard, perhaps, but. We royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two of his own kingly sleeves. Yeah, well, King Tom Cat. He sure does. Did. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater here. All right. So when we get here, nature's tongue. Burden. Huh. Oh, yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. Okay, Nature's Tongue sounds, like well. sounds like it might be helpful. Burden sounds like it's just going to be just a plot device. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right, so now that we've gotten stuff from Her Majesty, we can go back to where we're heading. I bet that we're going to have a cutscene with the thief that's been following us. It just seems natural based upon how the, the plot unfurled here. So what do we have? We have the... All right, so one, two... So there's a fourth dot that I don't recognize. So I guess we go talk to it. Just to make sure we're picking up all the stuff we need. Once again, go by Hester's father and don't even say hi. Yeah, dot hasn't moved, so that's good. And... Hello, blue dot that blinks. I keep pigeons. Okay. Drinking from the milk fountains, but a message from the deliverer. 
Um, sure. All right. So, of course, no details as to where the pigeons might be. The hint we were given was they're probably by the milk fountains, but first thing we should do is check over here by the inn, since it's tucked here back by itself a little bit. Hello, are you a lost pigeon? Wow, okay. So, nature's tongue. We can now talk to pigeons. I don't want to be eaten. Oh, Poor little bird. Alright. Boy, howdy. I, I really would like to be able to, like, do something to this NBC if it's about to eat the pigeons. I don't like being used and lied to. No pigeons yet. No pigeons yet. If I had to guess, or maybe one by the bananas. Nope, no pigeon in the bananas. Wasn't watching. Are you about to feed a bird to someone? No, Digra. We, we don't believe so. This individual is using carrier pigeons for messages, and he has three of them. And he is certain that they've returned to Alma Moon, but they haven't returned to him specifically. We talked to one, and it was of the opinion that its master might eat it because it was late returning home. And in a fit of rage, he had said that he would eat it. Um, so hopefully not. So let's use nature's tongue on this one and see what he says. I want to play here a little longer. See, this one doesn't think it's going to be eaten. Your master's really worried about you. This game is gross. This game is, is a little bit on the weird side. It definitely has some concerning spots. I would I would be uh, I'd be very disappointed if it wasn't for the Scottish accent and the amazing artwork. And even with that, I'm still a little bit on the line of disappointed. So one was near a water fountain. One was near. I doubt we have a, a pigeon in here with the Khalifa. But I mean, I guess we could. You know, the better parts of my curiosity tell me that there could be a treasure chest behind this ginormous bed. So we would be remiss to not check, right? So, no pigeon, no chest, just a very large Khalifa who gave us a couple of spells. One that lets us talk to animals. I, I do still think that the talk to animal spell is going to be fairly useful for plot points and quest points. Alright, so let's check over here, make sure we haven't missed a, a pigeon. Looking for a chillin' pigeon. Alright. Well, the number of spots you can hide here as a pigeon is very limited. I mean, it is unlikely, but I guess not outside the realm of possibility that the pigeon went into one of the rooms. We 
can't get back there because the very unenthusiastic Spice Master. Well, kid. Alright. Well, there's two pigeons. Go inside buildings and start looking for pigeons. Miss Cat, did you eat a pigeon? Doesn't look like it. What about you, Khan? Did you get hungry and try to sell one as pheasant? Find one here, I guess. Are you witness protection for your uh, bird friend? Is that what's going on here? Little pigeon wit pro? No, doesn't look like it. I mean, it is a minute possibility that the other pigeon isn't here. Um, there is a quest description, but the quest logs in this game are really bad. Uh, let's see here. Go to... Point is birds. Go and find one more pigeon. This is from that era of video games where they try to sell you not just the video game, but the strategy guide afterwards. Oh wait, I thought I could open that, but I can't, okay. Over here, anything else? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, interesting. in the nooks and crannies going the wrong way alright hello any pigeons here? Inside the other shop here. Any pigeon being hidden by the owl lady? There it is. I knew it had to be here somewhere. Alright. And nature's time. Is that the time? I was miles away. Thank you for coming to find me. Cuckoo. Uh, so maybe a clue is in the dialogue. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's pretty sparse. We sometimes might get a description of like where something might be laying nearby. But in this case, it was just... I think they're drinking out of the cheese fountain. Or the... I mean, the milk fountain. That's why I went to go look at the uh, fountain here. In case it was, you know, that fountain. Alright. 
Two, oh, nice. And an achievement, Boy Scout. And our sandwich card gets two more stamps. All right. So we got all we can do there. And time to head out. We might be able to get back to the, the shipyard. It's not that far away now that we got a, a pretty good team here. Is there anything marked on the map indicating that we should be heading places for blue dots? Does not appear as such. Okay, had to change the iPad, so yes, it was hiding in the um, in the Owl Lady shop. All right, yeah, yeah, in the the actual quest dialogue was like, I think they're drinking out of the milk fountain, so, so yeah, the, the quest dialogue tries to be a little immersive more than helpful, so yeah, it's not like MMOs, unfortunately. A little bit more, a little bit more like Skyrim's quest system, but not as nice. Ooh, a planet drop. If we had anything that used the planet drop, it'd be great. But it's still good to have. Oh, shinies. A whetstone. I'm gonna guess that a cold stone is in the ice world if we come across one. Don't see any more shinies, so. Oh, there's a shiny all the way over there. Ah, uh, must chase the shiny now that we can use the shinies for things. That's not good. We got ambushed. A two it. Nice cut Lewis. Corgi laser. Don't mess with the Corgi laser. Good Corgi. Good Ayn. Sleep be gone in Shadow Glass. So this is not the first time we got Shadow Glass here. Off of this little stage area here. So one of those things is farmable for Shadow Glass, which is good to know. Sure, we're about to introduce a whole, well, a boatload of boat mechanics. Watch this! All right. So, since we know puppy laser is dangerous, uh, um, no. Now, be brave. No, he turned to me. I was trying not to get turned. Eat the wombat. Eat the wombat. Cook the bacon. We won! Such a good boy. Both of them leveled up. Nice. Bubble bath. All right, go go. Um, yes, please. You are going to 100% check. Oh. Oh.
Thunder Park Spark is single. All right, okay. So we'll do that. It changes our elemental coverage a little bit, but since it's not to the point that we're depending upon that yet in the game, we can kind of do that. Da -da 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 -da. And let's see what happens now that we're returned to the scene of the crime. Cutscene, of course. Someone so young could be a sage, so much younger than my father. I'll have that, thank you for your- oh no! Oh no! Took our papers! The- whoa! Yep, that's not good. Or you run off to the boat, of course. Oh, we'll definitely take that. Hi, what do you need? Kindness. Yes. Give heart. Have some kindness, ma'am. I don't know what organ the, the kindness comes from, but we took a sliver of somebody else. Carrot cakes and some guilders. And one more stamp card and we'll be done. We'll take this flaw that's between you guys as well. Alright. And providing that that thief hasn't run off by the amount of time it took for us to get all that. No, nope, looks like it's still tied up in customs. So we, we got some we got some stuff going here. All right. Uh, you see, it's all for him. I have to get to the end. Oh no! Oh no! Super boss fight coming. Oh. This is going to be the last fight of the stream, so this is a really cool fight to end on, I think. Swain's Nightmare. The Void of Restraint. Alright. Um... So we got one asleep. Master. Divisions. Sleepy gone. Oliver. Back to Oliver. Back to Sid. Ooh. 
Inspect all of her provisions. Um, you know, strong coffee. That doesn't do hardly anything. Alright, run, Sid. Run, 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 run. Nope, we don't have enough mana for that even. Okay. So we're going to have to do what we did last time. Alright, um. Bad dream. Evade? Okay, hopefully we got the evasion this time. But if it gets Pongo and Esther... Alright, good. Alright, so now... Yeah, we're doing like a hundred a shot here. Looks like, looks like Esther got it. Alright, um... Protect me provisions. This is not looking good for us at all. Alright, uh, tactics. what you like. That's really all we can do at the moment. Let's hope for the best. And provide sandwich backup, it looks like, or anything. Uh, defend. I defended. Did I get it? Did I get it, though? Yeah, I got it, so I should be okay. Nope. Oh, we're all asleep. Oh my gosh. This is like party wipe time, almost. Alright. Provisions. Uh... Trippy tuning already. Let's, let's just. Sandwich. Eat. Eat, Esther. Defend. Against the grudge. Fishburger, give. Uh, defend. Oh, I think I missed it this time. Oh, no. 
Locked it I'm like a champ. All right, come on, come on. I know he hurts. I know he hurts a lot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. All right, we didn't lose anybody. We lost a lot of provisions. We didn't lose a single person on that fight. And we leveled up both of our characters, which means we full heal too. Nice. Oh, 700 healers. Yeah. My Ruffle, Esther, Winky, Ramal, everybody gets a level. Except for one person. Alright. Can we have the picture back now? Oh, get away from me. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. save and I have I really hope we get that that come on let's, let's find some restraint real fast we really need to wrap it up here but I really want to see if we get a third party member out of this some people should not wear bathing outfits and that old dude um, he might be among them No restraint here. No restraint here. I don't think I can jump that to there. No, no restraint. It's a town of people in bathing suits and none of them have any restraint. Hello. Oh, uh, wait, whoa. Flint dagger and an emberstone. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a match. We need a flint dagger. And we need an amberstone. And we mix them. Yes. It's a candle cutter! Awesome. Ring a bell. What's the, okay? Neat. And we get a sandwich card stamp finished. Awesome. Al some new alchemy formulas. All right, but not what we're here for. We're here for anyone to trigger the green locket. Hello, lady. I've already been to all of you peoples. Well, we're almost through the whole entire town. We've not found anyone with an ounce of restraint yet. Well, wait, 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 wait. We do have the inn that we've not checked because we can actually go inside the inn. It's the kahuna. We want to take a little piece of your organs. Just need a little bit of your restraint.
was to commend the brokenhearted. Yeah, all right. We're gonna take just a, a small little piece of your heart. It's nothing bad. It's like daylight savings time. We, we take an hour away from you then. This time we're just taking a little bit of restraint. Feels so much lighter. Sure does. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna help that guy. We're gonna see what's inside the, the, the jar first. Oh, coffee. We need our coffee. All right. And now we can run back to the dock, which the fastest way is this way. Once we get the boat, we must get like some ability to swim or something so we get to that chest. There are a few treasure chests that I want to get access to. Alright, give heart. Nothing happens. So we have to trigger the... Alright, sort them out. We're gonna sort them out. We're gonna give them some heart. Please don't rip the piece of paper up. Just have some restraint. What did you just do to me? Hey! Give that back! What's the matter? It's just a portrait of some pretty boy. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's important. It must be. Why would you steal it if it wasn't? Let's just say I can't have it doing the rounds. Tell you what, I'll buy it off you. That's uh -huh. fair. No, it's not for sale. We need it. Oh, yeah? Need it for what? Go on, this should be good. If I tell you, will you give it back? Uh, I might. It's a picture of one of the great sages. We need to find him. He's going to help us defeat Shadar. Well, now. You what? What did you just say? We're going to defeat Shadar, all of us, together. And we reckon this great sage might have some proper powerful magic in it. Ollie Boy is gonna need it. Okay, we told you why we need it. Now give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you lot think you can take down Shadar? <laughs> and you want to drag Pretty Boy here into it too? We sure do. And he'll help us. I just know he will. You must be even more gullible than you look. That or you're just plain stupid. You realize nobody stands up to Shadar and survives, don't you? Nobody. Huh? Uh -oh. Nothing. Anyway, you don't stand a chance. I think we do. Eh? Oliver made my father, Rashad, believe again. And he saved me, too. Mm-hmm. Rashad? What? The great sage? Rashad? The very same! And he's itching to take Shadar down now! You joke! It's all put up your dukes! <laughs> We're not joking. Fine. I give up. Tugging on his beard here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you lot have got me half convinced. Alright, I'll take you. I'll show you where to find him. Hey. What? You know him? Yeah, a bit. Neato! Thanks so much! Um... I'm Swain. Good to meet you, kiddo. I'm not a kid. I'm Oliver. Alright, alright. Keep your Keep hair, your hair on. on. Good to meet you, Oliver. I'm Esther. Trippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies! So, I guess we should set sail, huh? This is so exciting, Oliver. All right. Oh, oh, look at it. It's, it's a chicken troll. Swain and his familiar have joined your party. All right, all right.
chest will do perfectly. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Here goes. Oh, he's got a grapple gun! Pickpocket's pistol. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's super helpful. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that he is part of your people, Digrat. That's for certain. All right. All right, hang on a minute. Yeah, I'm on board right now. Just uh, okay. Better make sure your tip-top condition fully stocked up. Okay. So at this point, Turtle Club, we are definitely going to be calling it quits for tonight. Um, Ego Trip, thank you for joining the Turtle Club and hanging out with us. Appreciate that. As always, the Supreme Lurker Shadow, always in the chat. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Digrat. Thank you once again for keeping me company while we play through this amazing game here. Need no Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, our party is now no longer two people, but three people. And I would say, and we're just going to take a real quick glance here. Yep, that means we can now have nine familiars and three in tow here. So our party is going to be pretty, pretty stacked. So looking forward to next week when we play some more of this. I'm going to have myself a good evening. You all out there in the Turtle Club, have yourself a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner, wherever on the globe you're at. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Take care, Turtle.